From the makers of Bro Force and Genital Jousting comes Terra Nil, a game about saving the environment. It is a puzzle game uh, disguised cleverly as a colony builder. If you watch the trailers, you think, oh, this is like a colony builder. You're terraforming, you're doing all this stuff. And it is and it isn't. Now, there's no way to continue uh, in this demo. It procedurally generates a map every time, so you actually have like infinite playthroughs if you'd like. Um, and you start off with this. Uh, now, normally what I would do in a game like this is I would start pretty far in. That way you guys get a good taste of what to expect, you know, kind of in the middle, kind of uh, towards the end, all that good stuff. Um, but in this case, you know, we're uh, we're just going to kind of go with it and see what I can do in, in a limited time. Now, uh, to give you an idea of the controls here, uh, is while I'm using Waz to maneuver here. There's no way to speed up the movement, so I'm just going to use middle click sometimes. Just kind of click around, move my character, or move my camera around. Uh, right now, you're probably wondering, what am I doing? Oh, I'm placing turbines on all these rocks. Turbines only go on rocks, so I'm going to do just that. And I'm trying to put them strategically, set them up strategically so they can maximize their... Hmm, this is going to be a tough one here. Um, their, uh, their reach, because you have to be able to connect things to them, right? Um, now, <clears throat> now that's there. I have power going to those locations. So I'm going to put down some of these irrigation things. What's the irrigation, right? This is the uh, toxin scrubber. Sorry, so this is going to purify the land. So I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to put this uh, out here. Again, I'm trying to maximize the amount of space, because as I said, this is a puzzle game about maximizing real estate. Uh, what you're going to want to do is see. We're going to try to scooch this, scooch, this, scooch this in just a wee. Just a wee. Is that too wee? Is that too wee? That's too... Do we, uh, maybe a little bit, oh, you know, that's not bad, actually. You could sit it like this. Hmm. Now we'll move it in. You can't mess this up, man. <laughs> I, have, I have one chance to speed run this as best I can after only playing it once. So I'm trying to make sure this happens. Uh, let me see. I'll put this guy here. You see, I'm, I'm getting all the toxins clean up, cleared up of all this stuff here. Uh, and just trying to make it so that all of these ends touch as best as I can. There's gonna be gaps. There's gonna be gaps, and that's fine. A lot of have gaps. I'm running out of running out of currency down here. You see this number down here? The uh, what do they call it? Well, you're <clears throat> both call it cash or whatever, uh, but it's leaves, <laughs> leaves rather, um, and that is your currency in the game. So I already have a pretty good swath of land right here that I want to go ahead and use the irrigation, the irrigator to uh, to clean up. And you see how it says plus uh, plus 163, 174, 175. Like these are good numbers. These are really good numbers. Uh, and so what I'll do is first I'll come out here and I'll do this. Uh, I'll do this stretch. Yeah, I'll do this stretch. 147. That's pretty good. I want to try, again, I'm trying to maximize this. Oh, that's perfect. Look at that. Wow, that's a thing of beauty. Hit that right there. We're going to get an increase of 166. Now that we have, you know, we already laid out power everywhere. We're trying to plan ahead. Uh, now we're going to go ahead and uh, rotate this and try to get another good chunk here. And notice also that that number went up to 18%. What is that number for, Mike? Be well, that number is there to uh, basically uh, guide you through the uh, uh, this stage. So we're in tier one right now. We have tier two, three, and kind of four. Um, and what we're trying to do is we're trying to not run out of money and and also simultaneously irrigate the and make the land look beautiful. Um, now this is gonna be a trying process. You know, it's gonna be costly. Um, you know, not just, you know, in the terms of like, yeah, you know, you're building, you're building on a form on a, on a an alien planet and you're trying to irrigate the land and make it uh, all this stuff. It's like, it's not, that, that's not the problem. The problem is that there's a perfect balance. This is the puzzle part. There's a perfect balance of of income and whatever's on your PL, whatever you're basically spending in order to achieve this goal. Now, <clears throat> so, 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 kind of in a weird position here. I could put one of these down here and I could squeeze this around and probably get a pretty good score. 111. Is that, oh, you know, that's actually pretty good. That actually, you know what? So I think I will do that. <laughs> I could do this. No, actually, it's exactly what I'm going to do. Uh, 111. Let's scooch this over a little bit because we're going to try to move some over this direction here eventually. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to put down some water. And the way to do that is to uh, get a water pump. we got to put this near some power. So we'll place it over here. And you see it's going to basically flood this area that it's got highlighted. Okay. 
And we want to try to get as much as we can from that. Get over here. We'll probably put another one. Let me see over here. That'll fill up the rest of these. Also, it's converting the area around the uh, creek bed into usable land. Um, we do not have any... Oh, gosh. Is it right here, maybe? Okay, cool. Nice. We're gonna try to do all this. We have this other item at the here, uh, the other uh, tool called the excavator. What this does is, um, you put this within range. Whoa, zoom on out. Oh, I can't do it while I'm looking at this. Uh, you put this on the ground and you 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 uh, uh, will drill a hole, or well, basically a, uh, a creek, essentially. It creates a tributary for you, um, in a straight line. But they're very expensive and they're very large. So I'm going to try to get away with, I, mean, I don't think I can get, actually do the whole thing without uh, using at least one of them. Um, but like I said, they're just costly. They're very costly. Okay, so I can't really get power out here. So what do I do? I take one of these guys here. Uh, what is this thing called? It's called a calcifer, calcifier. And then I'm going to take this and I'm going to put it out here in the water. I'm probably about as far out as I could get, I think. Yeah, like probably like here or something. And what that's going to do is going to put some power out here, put some uh, stones out here. On the side of the road. So I'll put one here. Uh, actually, can I squeeze one of these guys close? Oh, man. See? See? Now, here, here's the thing. Do I just put this right here and just eat that? Like, just eat that, this whatever leftover area that I'm not reaching? I think so. I think that might be okay. But you can't cut too many corners, man. The more corners you cut, then you're going to pay for it in the end. By not being able to have, not having enough money in order to do everything. Okay, so that pretty much wraps up this whole area right here. So I might as well go and spend this. It'll be a profit of, of 106 pretty good and that's yeah that's gonna be most we get there um there's some more over here we can get if i can if i can afford to put one more thing here 50 kind of i mean yeah yeah i could but that's that, that seems kind of useless i could go on this side we'll get some of that and i could go ahead and get this is already irrigated here so i could get this maybe let me see oh no i have to put this over here to get this side yeah well that's the way it happens Okay, and then we're going to use another cal calcifier here soon. We're going to put a water pump in. Oh, we need to put our, our, our thing up. Well, hold on a second. So we'll put it on this side now. Let me see. That's probably a good spot. Get some water going. Is that going to reach all the way? Ooh. Oh, man. Oh, you know what? Let's undo that. Boop. Yes, there's an undo button. Uh, I didn't have to put it that close. I could actually put it all the way out here. And it'll fill both ways. So that's the better. That's the that was a smarter choice there, which will almost get me to the end. N not quite, but that's really that's really close enough. So <laughs> I'm happy with that. Uh, we could put some uh, some electrical out here. Let me see. Has some electrical that should go out here eventually, but we're not going to do that. Don't have to worry about water out here because we have power. We already have stones out there. So this area just may not get done. We're at 52% right now. You don't actually have to get 100%. This is a little misleading. You don't have to get a whole 100%. Let's put one of these guys right here in the middle. Yeah, right over here. You just have to get enough to... One here. Oh, oh. Wait, why can't I put it here? Oh, it's because it's within range of this guy? Oh, really? How did I do that? Dang. Okay, fine. Wait, for reals? I guess so. All right, well, I should have put that in a different spot, and I'm going to do just that. There, so now I could get this area here. Uh, that was a bit of waste, actually. We'll uh, squeeze it in a little closer. Yeah, just hug this wall here. Can't get over, okay. This one, and then this could go over here. Again, look at that. Just, oh, man, that's really good. Then we take this, and then we'll rotate it here. Now, this, this may actually be a long episode. And that's fine. Cause it's chill. It's a chill game. It's, it's a chill. Just relaxing. This is worth. This has value. Thirty-seven. It's gonna be sixty-two percent. So much for speed running this. <laughs> we could do this. Come on. Boom. And then fill this guy out right here, or this one here. Actually, probably both. Hmm. One here. This will cover. This will cover to here. This will cover... Yeah, we can get some pretty good coverage if I overlap some of these guys. Good. Gotta be careful not to run out of money, man. Gotta make sure I get that return. Okay. Maybe we can squeeze one more in. 
over here. And now I have a huge chunks of land to do. Wow. Doing way better than when I streamed it. <laughs> of course. <laughs> this is how it is. So that's a profit right there. Now we want to make sure we, we get we get some bank out of this, right? Like we're actually banking some of these leaves. Because these leaves are going to come in handy later on. Let's go ahead and see if we can't just uh, get as much of that as possible. Because once we get to tier 2, we're going to be spending the same bank. So we're going to need it. 87%. Okay, let's go and wrap some of this around here. We'll put one in the corner here. Uh, yeah, here. Then as far as we can here, we have also some down here. Okay. And then, oh yeah, we got this. Yeah, this is, we definitely got this. This is going to be right here. We're at 95%. We're going to finish this bitch right here. Boom, 96%. Another one. All profit. Hit it. There we go. Okay, so now we're on the second stage. Now we have a whole list of other things that we could work with. But what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to continue to flesh this out. Uh, not necessarily with power, but just with grass and all that. Go. Turn to make a little L shape with this. Leave that area there. It's fine. Because all this land's going to come in handy soon. And it's a profit anyways. Look, we're going to get 42 profit out of this. We might as well. All right, cool. Is there any other little small areas we can uh, at least break even? Can we break even on this? Zero. Plus two. Hey, nice. Plus two. Kind of weird spot for that, but you know what? Who cares? Got some more out here. We don't need to do this, do we? Yes, we want, we want the space. Yes, 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 yes. Second guessing myself. We'll do that. Okay. I think I squeeze one more in at the far reaches. Yes, how about you? Oh, got all that for that? Sure, why not? We're going to make it all back right here. Put that boy in there. Mm, lose some of this. 135, 142. 142. That's good. And this weird glob right here. We'll just see if we can't just make a weird L shape to capitalize on this as best we can. Yeah, there we go. That works. All right. Awesome. So we have a lot. We have a lot of uh, leaves saved up. Um, and we're going to be working on tier two stuff. So here we have a uh, research center. Uh, reduce cost of scrubbers, pumps, cows. Oh, God damn it. I could have done this already. Um, <laughs> you can put you can place this anywhere. This is a map wide thing. So it just makes things cheaper. Also makes the excavator here. A lot cheaper and smaller. Not 200 anymore. Game gets a little choppy whenever I pull this up for some reason. Um, but now I could bring water to the far reaches of the of the uh, uh, of the world here. Like for example, let's bring it right up to that thing. Right? Yeah. There it goes. The water should pile right in. Beautiful. And now we'll go to tier two. I have this new thing called hydroponium. This thing is going to create marshlands around wherever you have a irrigator that is also on the ground floor, i.e. not here, uh, and also near water, and it'll turn it into a swamp. And I'll do the same thing here, get plus 26 out of that. And we're trying to fill these numbers here. We're basically trying to meet these these goals that are set, that are set up for us in order to advance this planet to a proper uh, ecosystem. We have to find balance in this. So it's highlighted in blue the ones you could actually use it on. Oh, look at this. Oh, that's a great one. Man. That oh, so close to actually finishing it for me. This will do it right here. And there we go. So that biome is done. Now we need trees. We need um, uh, uh, bees. Oh, well, sorry. Uh, flowers. And we have to for that, we have to find trees. So we have a tree here. So that's going to boom. 114 is going to do that whole zone there. Anywhere we can find trees. Uh, let's click again. There we go. And you can see it's gonna it's gonna do that. We're moving up. Oh yeah, we can squeeze a little bit out of that guy. I think I have another tree in this corner. Yep, right there. Nice biome done. And then we have a forest. Now the forest. So it says uses nutritious ash to create forest. Can only be built on a burnt building husk. So only way to get a burnt building husk 
is by, you guessed it, burning buildings. How do you burn buildings? Well, first, let me get some water out here. <laughs> and then I'm going to partition off a chunk of land using these guys in an effort to, that's probably good. Let me see, can I get another from here, I think, here. Yeah, all the way to the wall. There we go. Nice. So I start blasting. Okay, then I'm gonna go here too. I'll install this solar array or whatever. Put it down. Uh, put it like over. I don't know where I'm supposed to put this actually. Yeah, here, sure. Put it right there. And then we have this uh, desiccator. It says start to control burn. File will burn uh, basically everything. And we have to put this. Uh, we have to put where? What's, what's the requirements for this one again? Uh, let's see, provides, requires. Oh, that's right. I have to put it down where the flowers are. So yeah, all the way over here. Oh, I'm a little too far from that, from the um, solar panel. Yeah, that's right. It needs flowers to burn, but it'll burn grass too. So we don't necessarily have this little chunk of flowers is all we need. Um, so let's put this here. Then we'll put this here. Oh, is it not enough? Oh my god, did I cut too soon? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. We're not, we're not, we're not. Okay, you know what? Fuck it. We'll do this right here. Laser beam. We might lose power to some things. Oh, no, actually, well, you know, we'll see what happens. So it's going to burn all the buildings in here. Which is good. It's going to stop right there, right? It stops right there. Okay, good. I had an uncontrolled burn earlier today, and it did not go well. Um, <laughs> minus 37 cost on this one. That's fine. We're just trying to get it down and get some uh, some forest up. You can see the forest number is starting to increase. Uh, this one as well. Put it here. We might as well go ahead and put this one here. Minus 100. Okay, that's, that's going to do nothing. Okay. So that was not even close to enough. Not even close to enough. So I think we should go ahead and just burn this area over here. And just if it takes some chunks out of marsh or whatever, then we'll just rebuild that elsewhere. So let's go ahead and build this out. And then we'll do another controlled burn right over here. And it's going to roast everything over here. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh my gosh, it stopped at the... <sighs> this thing's fireproof, apparently. Uh, <laughs> so let's put this here. God bless, you gotta be kidding me. Okay, we got a little chunk right here. Maybe we can squeeze it in. No, no, no. <laughs> oh man, it's fine. We just put another B here. We'll just put a B. And then we'll put... Actually, can I do that over here? But like, reach across the water? I can, huh? And it, my plan could actually still go. According to plan. Oh, I can't reach that. Hmm. Oops, my bad. Let's go back. I'm going to put this back on one of these trees. Yeah, here we go. There we go. Immediately roast it. That's our big, huge fire. And actually, while it's doing that, we don't have to wait for it to be done. We can just do this and just start plopping things down. After the fire's done, though. But yeah, you can you can kind of multitask a little bit if you want to. Um, let's do this. We'll put this guy here. We'll get some coverage over there. And we'll put this guy here. And we'll put this guy uh, here. That's done. Now we lost a little bit of flowers over here. Lost a few flowers over here. So we're going to want to put up another. It's probably one of these. Probably do it. Yeah, 16. There you go. Check done. Now we're on tier 3. Now we have to build a ship and clean up all of our bullshit. Bullshit. Not bullshit. Uh, to do that, we're going to put an airship down. The airship's going to carry all the garbage out. So we'll put it right here, kind of centralized, right? It's a good spot for it. Boom. And then these silos go down. So these silos are going to remove other buildings. And we're already done. We don't need to... We're not sitting here generating power. We're not generating currency. We're not doing any of that crazy stuff. We are simply picking up our trash now and going home. That's it. Look, we get all these buildings in one. Zoop. And then we'll do another one here. We're just basically putting these... Everywhere we have groups of buildings, we want to drop this. And it's going to collect everything up for us. Did I get everything there? Sure did. It has a cost, but, uh, you know, we get the return you know, pretty quickly once we get the... Uh, get the boat in the water. This guy right here. We'll just drop this guy over here. We may have a couple of waterfalls to put locks on if we need to. Let's actually go ahead and walk that out here and see. One here. One here. We don't need both of them, but we'll put them down anyways. Get that thing up. Let me see. Is there another one over here? I don't see it. 
it is quite it is quite impressive looking for sure um so here's what we do to get things moving well first let's go ahead and get an excavator out here to extend this waterway out in the direction we need which is going to be that away uh is it gonna go around that huh how funny didn't know they did that all right so anyways oh maybe over here it'd been faster let's just stop that <laughs> Uh, it has to be on this side of the water, though. Otherwise, it's not going to push everything. Mm. God, that might just work. Let's go here and grab this dock here. Oh, yeah, it didn't work. <laughs> that was a costly, costly error right there. Let me see. Oh, man, that is a costly error. Let's go back. Oh, those things stayed? Weird. We'll deal with those later. Right now, let's go ahead and get these guys picked up. We have a few over here to pick up. We have, can I get both of these silos in one? Sure can. So you put this down, you're gonna see this little zoomy boy over here. Where's he at? There he goes. He's gonna find a path over here. It's gonna take him a minute, but he's gonna get there. He's good like that. And then we're gonna go through and collect everything else up. Everything else we can possibly reach. All these other silos. And keep this guy busy. Trying to capture as much as we can in one. There's no, no reason for it. We're gonna get money back and everything, but still. I mean this, and then all these, and then, oh, this is a funky area. Mmm, yeah. Okay, we're close as I can so I can put that dock out there. If I'll put it right here so we can get started. Uh, let me see if I can suck this stuff up real quick before he shows up. There we go. Uh oh, what happened here? Ah, he reached a lock. Or something. Yeah, okay. There you go. Huh? Two locks? Okay, there we go. <laughs> I was like, what happened? Alright, so he's gonna go he's gonna collect those things. I'm gonna get my money back. I only have 125 left, so I have to kind of be careful with what I do. Um, as long as I have those are slated to be picked up. These, I could get these slated to be picked up. And they're right next to the dock. And then there's a couple more inland. So yeah, he's basically, he went and he picked those up. Now he's gonna turn around and come back. What? What happened to that one thing? Oh, did he suck it up? That's weird. Hmm. I don't know what happened, what's going on there. There's a couple other things here. Look in the bottom right corner. You have a current climate. Reach the target temperature and humidity for rewards. So there's... You can get rewards by making adjustments to this, but for the sake of this, we're not doing it. Um, we will still finish just fine. Um, right now, we're just cleaning up. And then you guys can see what happens when you wrap up an island, or, well, yeah, kind of a continent, maybe? Um, and then get your finish screen, and then we can all go home. There we go, got those. Those go in the bank. These guys also go in the bank. It's a good thing these things are cheap. 50 and 25. We just gotta, I mean, we gotta be careful, man. Because at any stage, I, I know I blew through this. I, ma I made it look easy. I know I made it look easy. I make it all look easy. But it's, uh, you're definitely prone to making mistakes easily. You know what I'm saying? Like you're, when you first get in, you're going to make a, there's going to be a balance issue. You're going to, you're going to put so much, too much money in one area, not enough in another. Uh, and the next thing you know, you're going to be broke. And then you're going to have to start all over. Game over. Um, and then the second time you go through, like me. Uh, <laughs> you're just gonna you're gonna be just like this, just like zooming, basically trying your hardest to uh, <laughs> to speed run this shit. Oh, he sucked that up too. That's kind of funny. Okay, well, sure. Okay, got some uh, buildings way back here in the corner here. Can you reach these? Can I hit? Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I piggyback them over? Hold on. Can I get both of these things? Yeah. Gonna suck up all this stuff. Now, is this does this reach that? Let's see what happens. Yes, good. Okay. And I believe that's the last one. Oh, there's something way over here. Oh man, that's deep. All right, there. This is the one. Yeah, we left this one for last, didn't we? Jeez. Let's turn around. Let's see if we can blast this thing. Um. Oh man, I got rid of my power. <laughs> Crap. Okay, it's cool. It's cool. It's cool. We got this. We got this. 
We're just going to use this. Do this. It's going to blast that. We're going to pump some water into this thing. Oh no. Oh no, what's that? What's up with that? What the hell? Oh, did it not blast through the... Oh man, you gotta be kidding me. See? At any point in time, something could go wrong. You know what I'm gonna do? I got it, I got I got this, I got this, I got this, guys. Boy, am I a genius. <laughs> and so that's it. Now we're ready for launch. There it goes. Let's get a nice close up view. You can see, actually, let me take a look at the, the, the world we just built. We started with wasteland. Now we have a little fish. We have like some deer or something. We got some, some, uh, or some, yeah, some deer. See that? We made this, man. We made this. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> But it is, I mean, this, the game has this kind of peaceful, like, wasteland reclaim, right? This, this is a very peaceful and chill, you know, you know, puzzle colony builder, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's not a colony builder, but <laughs> it is, it's chill, right? We could continue here. We're going to get a nice, a nice, nice kind of view of the whole island. It's like Prometheus, you know, it's like Prometheus. We're planting the seed. That starts the chain reaction that spawns a beautiful new world. And they play happy music for you, hopeful music, right? And then they say, wish list now. <laughs> From the makers of genital jousting. <laughs> That's Terra Nil, guys. Um, yeah, solid game. I got a little extra time in this one before recording it simply because I knew this was the kind of game that we could not knock out in a single in a single playthrough uh, where I could do it justice. Other games, shooters and platformers and, you know, uh, turn-based and all that stuff. So, like, yeah, those things I could figure out. But colony builders and, you know, puzzle games, um, those take a little bit more work. And so this seems like a solid, uh, I mean, do we call these like a dwarf romantic style games, right? Um, relaxing puzzle, just kind of sit back, smoke a joint or drink a beer or whatever you want to do. Uh, unwind for the day and rejuvenate a planet. It's that kind of game. What genre is that? I don't know. <laughs> Have a good one, guys. My name is Mike B.A.K. Phony Terra Nail. Check it out. I'll see you.